Hundreds gathered at South Tampa's Bungalow Restaurant for food, drinks, music, and a chance to celebrate and support children. There are 3,000 kids currently in the system in Hillsborough County that need our support, and about 70% of those kids currently have guardians and that support, so we're constantly working to provide 100% representation for those kids. The event tonight, Bartending Beauties. The ladies will be sacrificing their tips for abused and neglected children. Can you imagine being a, a abused kid at 10 years old and you have nobody to go to and you're going through court cases against your parents? Former Tampa Bay Buccaneer and radio host Ian Beckles showed up to show his support for Voices for Children, who is hosting this fundraising event. It's a tough time, and uh, I can imagine what that's like. And uh, they, need, they need people. They need people on their side, and uh, they need a fighting chance as well. Voices for Children provides support to abused, neglected, and abandoned children in Hillsborough County while they go through the dependency court system. The agency also has the Children's Needs Fund for things like eyeglasses, school supplies, and even doctor visits. Take a look at this amazing food, courtesy of the bungalow in Tampa. Voices for Children is mixing things up with an evening of good food, drinks, and bartending beauties. Lots of people in the house. A big party for a good cause. Local celebrities like Queen Bee of 95.7 The Beat and Dr. Gina Mediette, psychotherapist and radio personality, were some of the beauties working the bar. I think it's perfect. We help children in so many different ways, from school books to uh, Tibet, our facility dog is helping these kids through tough times. And uh, abused kids, they, they, need, they need a voice. This is just one of the many events Voices for Children hosts to support the cause. And, uh, have a good time. Everybody likes to have a good time, but in the meantime, we get to raise some money for the children. In Tampa, Kendall Davis, Hawk TV News.